Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. I felt like a lot was happening at the same time, and then school was getting stressful, and then the situation of our team was stressful for a variety of reasons, and then it just kind of felt like there was a lot going on at once. So I think when you're like in that moment, and I still am, it's easy to get to feel overwhelmed or feel stressed, but like have that perspective that you told me a year ago. What's really crazy is the exam during the combine. Mm, tough. That's the crazy one. And professors is not, they're not budging on that. School troubles. They said even if for the NBA, a he, chance? Bro, he didn't understand it was the NBA. He said, what's the NBA? I had to, I had to explain it to him like it's a job interview. He still said no. Nah. He didn't get it. What if when you told him it was the NBA, he said no? Nah. He, he didn't. He said, uh... You told him you're trying out for the NBA, and he said you can't skip the exam? Yeah. Wow. I don't think anyone else right now in the draft class is doing, is, has to do these exams. You think? But you know what they say? What? Gotta be good in everything. How's that flight? It was smooth? It's smooth, smooth. You'll see, the facility we're at is nice though. Oh, it's a big spot? No, it's not a big, but it's like... It's like, you know when you play 2K and you go into like your little crib with like a court there? It's like yeah. a weight room. Core upstairs, couch. Mm. Hydration. Everything you need. This is this is a war for us. Damn near like t-shirt weather. No. Nah. We got we got three layers on. Put some music, Nick. Uh. <laughs> Okay. And you can relocate to one shot too. We go, we go one, two, both makes, and then switch. I'm just saying, I'm drifting. I thought, um, because in my mind, I'm not sure if I talked about it in the first episode, but. Ever since last year, since last summer, my goal was to get to this point where I could do some workouts. And my goal was just to be a prospect, to be honest, just to be on. The radar. Yeah, the radar, exactly. Just like get my name out there and prove that I could be that good in the future. Like, to be honest, it all, all happened kind of quickly. Like, I think I'm, I'm, not on tra I'm not on track to where I want to be. I think I'm on track to where I want to be, but, but now at this point, it just kind of feels like regular. Like, this is what, this is what we're going to do and this is what I need to do to be successful. I just, I thought that was like the natural progression. I didn't think it would be like, oh, he's declaring for the draft, da da da. Because as I said, right when um, I signed with George and I sent him the forms or whatever, um, it was like a woge bomb and then VR Who's posted and slam, all, all the college basketball accounts. And I'm getting all these texts on about, oh my gosh, congratulations, like you finally did it, da da da. But they don't understand, like it's just step one in the process. But at the same time, I'm super grateful. Like, this is what I, what I, you know, worked for, and this is what I always wanted to happen. So, it's obviously not even close to where I want to be, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. So, I think I think it comes from a perspective of just being like, dang, I, I didn't expect it for, for everyone to know about it like that. You know what I mean? You'd rather no one know. I don't know about no one know, but I don't know. I think it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. It also shows that people care, like the amount of people, the support I got right away and text messages I got was kind of cool to see. But I was just like, I don't want y'all to be disappointed a little bit when I come back to school. If. But if, keyword if. But with, with all that being said, like I'm super grateful just to be in this position. Okay, so first, 
just uh, introduce yourself? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it was stressful or uneasy. I always believe that your path is your path. And just because someone else took a different path to get to where they were, your, your path is going to be whatever, whatever path is on. Three and one, four point play upcoming. Nikki up to 18 points now. It's an eight point game again. Lee's ability to make tough layups is so impressive. Coach Krill believes in practicing tough layups. I think it's easy to get caught up in, like the past couple weeks have been super stressful and just, I got super sick last week and was like throwing up a bunch and I had a stomach bug so I lost a bunch of weight. So I was kind of stressed about being underweight and then I was trying to get in shape at the same time. So it just kind of felt like a lot was happening at the same time and then school was getting stressful and then the situation of our team was stressful for a variety of reasons. And then it just kind of felt like there was a lot going on at once. So I think when you're like in that moment, and I still am, it's easy to get to feel overwhelmed or feel stressed, but I think it's important to like have that perspective that if you told me a year ago, two years ago, five months ago that I'd be doing this, I'd be, you know, like, super happy so it's good to have that perspective and you know just stay grateful hey. Exactly. How many workouts you got lined up? Right now? CP, is there a lift tomorrow or anything? Four scheduled? Yeah. What time? Are they like back to back to back? Yeah. Uh, before the combine week, they're back to back. But I don't know what I'm doing after that week if I get invited. Hopefully I get invited. Maybe the G League one. <laughs> Don't stop Chris though. After that, because once school, <laughs> once the combine week's done, then I'm done with school, so I can just do as many work as I want. But before that, I need to study. <laughs> Bro, because I got sick, like, I go up there on the weekends. What, what are you doing? Finishing? Yeah, I'll hop in. Any two questions from the class? Princeton life. Huh? Is that Princeton life? Yeah, Princeton life, bro. In the gym doing homework. <laughs> oh, this is my last thing, though, so. It's my last class was today, though, 10 a.m. So I'm done. How does it feel, like, do you, do you ever catch yourself comparing? Like, yeah, me, facts. like, like if I, like, the other people in this, like, you're, all the people that you're in the draft with right now, they're not doing homework. They're not doing this. Do you stop, have to stop yourself sometimes and be like, oh, I can't. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like it sucks, <laughs> like doing all that schoolwork, but that's what I signed up for, you know what I mean? Mm, like you take count of that. You chose to go here. Exactly. So you don't even dwell on it. Yeah. My and it's an investment. Like hopefully I, hopefully I go to the NBA and I don't graduate school, but like, all things considered, hopefully I graduate with a really good degree, so like I'm, that's what I signed up for, so I'm gonna just do it, you know what I mean? Or at least try my best to do it. So, but it's, it's so easy to compare, like, even when I was choosing agencies, like, I really like, I felt George was like the best fit for me and I like morals aligned well, which I think is most important, but like, even the other people I was talking to, all their pre-draft was either in like Miami or LA, and I was just thinking about it. You had opportunities to go somewhere else, yeah. where it was popping. Popping. Like who wouldn't want to go to Miami for a full month and just hoop and not worry about school? But like realistic realistically for me, like I just can't do that. 
Why not? Because I had other responsibilities. Like what? Okay, I finish all, I gotta go to class. First of all, you can't miss class. And then... Like, you could've just said F the class? I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> but it's super easy to compare, I feel like, but you guys run your own race, you know what I mean? Exposing my typing skills, bro. Who wanted to help Mexico in the Mexican peso crisis? Chris, you know the answer? Who wanted to help Mexico in the Mexican peso crisis? Oh, Japan. You got it backwards. You gotta make quiz questions here. So what I do is, I'll ask like, what country did this? And then I'll say the right answer and then A, B, and C will just be like, every time, like Are you USA, Russia, and China. The, yeah, that's literally the, the assignment is like, make oh. possible test questions to send into the teacher. Who wanted to help Mexico in the Mexican peso crisis? Sociology. I'm in an international organizations class now. Let's Just Google that question to make sure I got the answer right. Yeah, I was wrong. What was it? I thought it was Japan. He thought it was the U.S. It turned out to be the U.S. Mm. Camera him. Go in there. See Turn that man the camera right here. See the boy in the hoodie. He hiding for a reason. <laughs> Turn the camera one more. I'll take his ankles every day. <laughs> <Go. laughs> Yeah, try to line it up so I'm talking. Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Cameraman is it? That was the funniest thing I've ever done. Fact. Quick 11 hoop, shout out him. <laughs> That's the guy who filmed it? Yeah. Because you made the, you made, I was gonna tell you, you made it, you made like a couple episodes, super inspirational. Yeah. My brother, like, I'm not that inspirational. All the music and stuff, I was like, you don't think so? Not that much. Yeah. Hi, man. Hey, you mean, Hi, <laughs> yeah, come on, Nick. Get a large. No, 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 go. Oh, Nate, too. Nate, get in on it. Come on. You're making it awkward. Let's go. <laughs> the same ramen and a large tea, so I wouldn't cramp up. Because I needed salt. That's my tongue is small. I just uh, had a drink on the train. So this is a, this is a Bobo Plus restaurant? Yeah, restaurant in the back. We still don't know about the restaurant, though. It's a good vibe in here, right? It's good vibes. It's good vibes. Really? You study in here? Nah. Uh, my cousins, they want to take a picture with y'all. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. <laughs> Motion in. Thank you so much. I was like, yo, no way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I was like, yo, no way. Don't worry about it. Thank you. You're so tough. That's all right. <laughs> That's just so funny. <laughs> Bro, how often do people come and say, like, you get a bit with you? Uh, in school, never in town a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Like around Princeton? Yeah. That's cool. But never like, never people at school. People at school don't care. I feel you, bro. Like, me and my friends talk a lot about like, at Princeton, you could be an athlete and you can walk into a lecture hall. People would just be like, oh, yeah. Nice. But you go to a day school. Everyone's yeah. Yeah. 
What's going on? You been good? Bro, that's just sick, dude. A lot. Hey. Hey. You said eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, when I'm at home, I do. But when I come here, I adjust. What's that called? Code switching? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, really, yeah. I put him on that. Bro, chill. I put, I put him on the honey, <laughs> honey too. Honey milk green tea. Mm. Like everyone. A man of the culture. At Panera, you were like, oh, dang, my card went through. So, <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, like, just so the people know, like, I, I'm sure some people think, you know, that maybe not your, that you're rich, but I'm not yeah. saying you're broke, but it's like. No, for real, I mean, yeah. everyone think about money. If you're not thinking about money, then it's like. I think mean, people don't know, like, maybe that makes you even hungrier, would you say? Yeah, But you sure. know, you, I don't think you make that a point of emphasis. Some people yeah, might. I agree. I mean. I don't anyway, but like I said, I don't, I don't think you. You know, stupid athletes should get a hundreds of thousand dollars. You know, I, I, but like I said, there's all they are hungry nights that I, that I go to bed and uh, I'm starving. So. How would you feel if you had a son and you, you tried to discipline him for coming home late, and he said, "Well, I'll just put my name in the portal and go live with Johnny's parents next door." He lets him come one month. Didn't Today's I? student athletes are earning at the high level seven figures through endorsements and NIL monetization. When it comes to basketball, like I don't really think about money. <laughs> Hopefully, like, if I get to the point I want to get to, it all sort itself out. But I mean, at Princeton, we're like regular dudes. Like, we don't get paid like other college basketball players do. Which I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I want to get to the point where I get enough NIL where I don't have to worry about what I'm eating. I can just buy whatever I want when I go eat. Like, that's still a big thing for you. That's I fine. think people overlook that, but maybe people didn't watch that team. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, that's what I've been thinking about too. Like, when I buy food, whatever, like, it's just, an, I think of it as an investment in me, so I just get whatever I want to eat. Call and it your day. mom tries to help you out and your stepdad as much as they can, right? But yeah, for sure. they still got to pay bills. Yeah, whenever my mom comes, she is great eats. Great eats. But, but she, but your parents only help out so much, right? Yeah, but I, but I say, like, like, I definitely spent, I definitely spent way too much money on food, to be honest. You could ask my teammates, I'm always trying to eat out. Because it's hard for me, it's hard for me to eat a lot of dining hall food. Mmm, so you try to do what you can. Yeah, I do, yeah, for sure, for sure. But it does kind of suck that you're still worried about the price of food. Yeah, especially in Princeton, bro, price is, it's, everything's so overpriced. Because yeah. the town's like a little, yeah. it's just kind of like the vibe there. So everything's marked up, like. One day. Yeah, it costs like. Fourteen fifty for a burrito, and if you want a drink, oof. oof, that's twenty a meal. Twenty a meal, bro, minimum. Forty and times thirty, that's twelve hundred on food. Something like that. Maybe you should go, Princeton. I try. <laughs> oh, you guys are moving out. Already? Yeah, just so. Uh, I don't know when I'm actually gonna like leave for good. When is everyone supposed to move out? Whenever they're done with their finals, right? Probably like yeah, my last finals the fourteenth. My exams during the uh, associate combine, so I'm hopefully going to Chicago. But they won't they won't move the date of my exam, so I don't know what to do. It's a lot of uncertainty, right? Yeah. In terms of your scheduling, you don't know where you're going to be. Mm. Then you have your exams. Hopefully. Especially low key, but everyone's made it hella dramatic, so. Mm, like, you didn't even want it to be like that. Yeah, I want, like, I thought in my eyes, I was like, I'm just get these couple workouts in, get my feedback, see where I'm at, and all of a sudden, I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to the league, which is like, don't get it twisted. I'm grateful for that, but like, it wasn't supposed to be that dramatic. Everyone made it all amped up, which is cool, which is cool. I'll take that, I'll take the profit, but it wasn't like, it wasn't supposed to be all that production. It got blown up more than it needed. Blown up out of proportion, yeah. which is mm. awesome, but it's like, going easy, going easy. <laughs> We could walk at a brisk pace. I don't know why, game. You want to drive? Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, you want to drive? Fire, right, we can drive. <laughs> drive? I'm going to go to, uh... What do you want? Do a lot of people have cars out here? No. Where do you want to go? I can eat whatever. The olives or mamoons? I'll eat mamoons. 
school? I don't know what you're pondering about. Mm, that cocoa butter look. This guy's weird, bro. Nah. Uh, Alright, hey, if you're further, you'll come in the whip and put your scooter in the trunk. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, All on the right. weekends when we're up there, it's like. That's awesome. Did you have fun? It's so okay, just like basketball and sleep. Like, we don't really do that much stuff. When we're on campus, it's more fun. Well, not fun, but like more people here, so we actually like. Can it's go. all good, brothers. That's what the streets want to see. That's what if you don't want to see the workouts. You guys come here a lot. Yeah, it's a good spot. I say we're here. <laughs> the conversation. <laughs> the conversation. <laughs> as soon as the camera comes out, the conversation goes. Dead. Know, we're talking, talking, and talking about. Yeah. Anything new or or the streets or like did the school? I heard at school they they watch it a lot, not just the basketball people. Oh, nothing really changed, but. Nick, you got the streets. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean straight. I mean, it, it, yeah. Jesus Christ. My fault. Uh, wait, let me let me re answer. Let me rephrase. Yeah. Let me re rephrase that one. <laughs> editor, please cut that one out. You're the editor. No, that's exactly. Well, he's a chopper. Hmm. Hey, Nate, when you find the funny stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you heard him, Nate. Nate, I need you to have. Nate, when you're editing, bro, I need you to have good feel. Make good feel, <laughs> good feel. Great feel, that's what we're working on. I'm working Awareness. on that too. Court vision. Eh, that one didn't work. Like not my peer, not my classmates, but like when I when I go in, in yeah, when I go in town, yeah, a lot a lot more people recognize me. I think it's from the dock to be honest, which is cool. I find that people like people who watch the dock, they feel more like connected to you, like they actually know you. You know what I mean? So I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Still no we're working on it. I like how you caught on to that. Yeah, bro. Come on, I'm trying. You guys try and caught up with one of those. Right. They don't click me, you know what I mean? But Nick, you should come to the concert. Everyone's gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. He's gonna be there. Kay's gonna be there. Jack's gonna be there. The whole team's there. Yeah. We, we should really go for summer. Yes, bro. Not loud. Have I been to Toronto? Ch Chicago. Chicago. Right. But like half our team's from there. I maybe. It's about that time. time. I'll go. Oh, hey, oh, everybody can thrive. If everybody goes to Summer Smash, I'll go, for sure. There we go. The game. Bro, yeah, we yeah. can all stay with me, bro. Yeah. Oh, your apartment? Dude? Huh? No, I got an apartment. You're for surely going to Summer Smash. Bro, like, absolutely. That's not even a question. Absolutely, bro. Shout out Cole Bennett, man. Woo! What up? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know how to play. <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> that was two hours long, right? And you cut out the four seconds where I shouted out my gram. But but you posted an hour twenty of footage, but you cut my eight seconds. You know what I mean? I don't. Bro, I don't ask for much. I really don't. No, it's over with. It's gonna get cut. It's over with. It's gonna get cut. I said. I said. Put it on the screen right there. It was gone. You you know. The boys got haircuts. Slight. What'd you get cut? Like a month ago, bro. Since the last video, bro, I didn't get cut for three months. So crazy. Natural, no perm? No perm. I was really close to getting a perm, like, during that'd be, COVID. That'd be OD. I was gonna, like, the curly. Oh my god. Looking back on it, I'm glad I did it. You got perm? It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> he nodded so he didn't, he didn't show up on the camera. Uh, <laughs> I flipped the camera, he went on pause. <laughs> Yo, don't belts fit all sizes? No. 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 Really? <laughs> you gotta use Nick's. Uh, that was not Princeton IQ. Yeah, he's got a long way to go. If you see him asking about his uh, first math grade he ever got here. Mm. Not great. <laughs> not great. That calculus is tough. Man. What was your first grade? <laughs> Focus on him. <laughs> I told you, we take care of business in the classroom. We do what we need to do. That's about it. You guys have to move this couch up the stairs and everything? I don't know how they got it. Yeah, I guess. He doesn't stay in here. I don't live here, bro. This I live, I live like, out the way. Wait, but, really? No, it's, like, far. Almost. Like, a little bit. Hey, I haven't been home. Yo. I haven't been home till six months. You know what I mean? Like, we don't get to go home, so. Mm. I miss my mom. Not even for Christmas? A couple days. How long we got for Christmas? Like, three days? You got loafers? 
Time to get a pair of loafers from us. Huh? Yeah, I know. NIL soon. Preemptive spending, Nick. That's what I call it. Don't spend, what money. Is it? Don't spend money before you actually have it. That's, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Preemptive spending. I don't you're know off, what that you're means. Off, you're off. You're off. The right side is going down. Here? Man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There you go. Appreciate that. That's what we do. Appreciate that. No tuck on the shirt? Hell no. <laughs> tuck is crazy, man. Tuck is crazy. I'm saying no tie for the banquet? It's, it's, it's just calm? No no tuck like the jersey, man. Ooh. It's got a long way to go. That's where it's high. That's all I Absolutely thought. That's not, 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 not yeah, like a that. A tie with jeans and forces is going to look ridiculous. <laughs> 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 That is ridiculous, though. Tie with the horses. Hugs got some on, though. Really? He had not, something. That's not a bad fit. No, that's calm. That's, that's calm. You're calm. That's, calm. that's like a first date fit. I've never pulled that's, up like that. That's a, that's a lot for a first date. Yeah, it depends on what it is. It says better to be overdressed than underdressed. That's what I heard. Ooh. I didn't think that was that hard, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Scared money doesn't make money? Explain that one for the camera, bro. <laughs> Listen. How are you going to win if you're scared to take the risk? Mm. Mm. Quote, of the day. quote of the day. Quote of the day. Another quote of the day. Quote of the day. How are you going to win if you're scared to take the risk? That's the question. Um, Doc, I'll hit you when uh, things are done. Yeah. Maybe like eight. I, I mean, I'm going to go probably. I'm going to get ice cream with my mom after a doctor. You know, I can film that. And then come back here and just kick it. Or yeah. watch the game. It's easier to jump outside and inside, bro. I swear to God. Oh. And I was hooping like running shoes, so I didn't even have like hoop shoes on. Damn. If you go to it's like all black fit, all black mask, black shoes. Just it's so first... your parents wouldn't know it's you? Nah, they know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> now they know it's you. Yeah, but yeah, that's why I. Back in the day, he would have never let me on a squad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How tall were you back then? That was after I had my growth spurt, so I was oh. probably like 6'2, 6'3 maybe. I was probably 6'2, but I capped 6'3. Wow. But yeah, no, it's crazy. That, it was like 2021. Y'all had to do a that was in spring. Canada just to hoop. Yeah, but we didn't play for like a full year. That whole. I in March 2020, and I didn't play my first actual game. Like 2021 spring, I played outside, hello. And then I didn't play my first actual game until that summer, Damn. July, peace And then that's when I got the Princeton offer, and that was when the offer I had, so I just took it. That's tough. Yeah. Can you show this? Straight from the school to the workout. Sure. The life of an Ivy League student. <laughs> to go straight from the school to the workout, or do you just get used to being? I mean, I got some class today and no actual practice, so it's fine. But sometimes, yeah. What's been stressful for you these past couple weeks? In terms of the travel, the school, things happen off the court. It was tough physically because it was like right after the season. And I think we all looked at spring as a time to, like finally the season's over, season's super intense, and we could just 
go on easy a little bit, like kick back, relax, you know what I'm saying? So I was looking forward to that. But instead it like jumped into like the most intense basketball I've had all since the start of the year, which is a lot. Cause I was doing, I was still in classes obviously. And then I do all my team workouts. Like we'd lift three times a week and then we'd have, the workouts were shorter, but it was like during the weekdays we'd go three times a week. And then, so I was doing all that. And then Thursday after my last class, I'd Uber up to up to here and stay here for the weekend. And then the weekend was just like two days the entire time. So it was tough physically, I think. And like, I, and it's tough to balance that with school because I was still trying to get my schoolwork done, obviously. And I would tell myself like, oh, I come up here and do work on the weekends. That's usually what I do at school. But like doing all the workouts here was like, we go shoot or we go work out in the morning, lift, recovery, come back for like three, four hours, eat and then go shoot again. And like in that time in the middle, I thought, oh, I'm gonna try and get work done. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But it's like, after I eat, I just come back and fall asleep every time. Every time. Nah, like those naps are different. So it really wasn't, like I thought I could manage my time better than I really could because like it takes a toll on your body, you know what I mean? Even even doing schoolwork, like it tires you out, but doing that much basketball, you have to be like fully focused on it. So it was definitely tough to balance, but I try my best though, so Let's see what happens. Luckily, luckily now I'm done with actual class, which is good timing because once the actual workout starts, I'm gonna be flying from this place to that place, and that's gonna be even harder on your body. So, and being in the Ivy League, we didn't really take that many flights. We didn't take any flights. It was, it's, a, it's a bus league, so we just, yeah we bus everywhere pretty much. So I'm not really used to that. So, but I'm not gonna think about that. Like. I just gotta go and kill, like, don't worry about how my body feels, if I'm tired, whatever, like, I'm just going and play. So, but it's definitely a real thing, though. Were you trying to get some beat before? Yeah. I see, I need to sign up, fill out this uh, thing real quick, though. Yeah, there's Panera Bread right there. Yeah, I was getting that. Bro, I'd be feeding for Panera. Every, every day before practice, I order the same, uh, you know, the barbecue chicken sandwich. <laughs> This time we're checking if they get the order right. What the fuck? Do you guys schedule guys one room too? Nah. We, we just get the double bed. Mm. Uh, the, the, right, like the AU hotels? Yeah. So you see, y'all are working on till 11? 8.30 to 11? Uh, yeah, I think 8.30 or 10.30 maybe. I don't know, I just go in. And mm. do y'all lift say? and... Uh, Lift yeah, but I don't think we're lifting today. Mm. I think we'll lift tomorrow, probably. I lifted today at school, though. Not the last morning was slowly shot at like 8 a.m. and then I had a bunch of meetings and then shot after, or and then lifted after. Well, Zayman's almost 8.30. Yeah, bro, and I need to sign this. But you would eat like, let's say McDonald's if you if I want if I want to eat it, versus not eating to eat it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is kind of crazy, but I see where it's coming from. Ah, uh, no, I'm like, uh... Yeah, 
Alright, right, smoothies. Smokehouse barbecue sandwich. Mm. Every time. I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, uh, I swear they have. Actually, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a broccoli cheddar soup. Yeah, that's classy too. That's classy too. Never before have you ever seen someone eat this much before a workout. You're different. It doesn't be affected, like you don't feel it in your stomach. Pause. Do you bad. usually eat before workouts? I already asked him that. Bad yeah. interview, bad interview. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, like, I'd rather eat to gain weight than, like, if I feel a little heavy during a workout, it's fine. It's just a workout and make me feel lighter when I'm actually playing. But I don't, I don't like, really feel it to the point where it's not going to do anything. Do you try to, like, eat hella after a workout? Yeah. Mm. So what's the eats after? What's your thinking? I don't know, man. It's a lot of food. I will say, though, it's hard. But sometimes I feel like a lot of basketball players, sometimes like after you, you play a game or work out heavy, it's hard to eat. Yeah. Like, uh, which when you're tired? Yeah, yeah, it's hard to eat. Because you just want to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's imperative you eat. You think the food in the States is better than Canada? No. It's bigger though. Big Say sizes. Canada got the best eats? Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your favorite type of food? Hmm. I don't know. Gang, how about half the sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> you're about to eat the full sandwich? Yeah, it's not that big, bro. You're built different. I don't know, I like Korean food, Italian mm. food. What's Korean food? Like Korean barbecue? Yeah. It was mm. just like spicy chicken, stuff like that. Oh, I don't really like Korean food. I'm all <laughs> like that, that Korean fried chicken. That's disgusting. Man. That's I don't really love the fried chicken either. Korean barbecue stuff, though. Korean barbecue is tough. Yeah, good meat. Good meat. I, I like, like both types of food. There's not really a type of food I, like, I don't like. Mm. Like you're not a picky eater? Yeah, no, not really. Who's a picky eater? Oh. <laughs> I just don't like bad eats. <laughs> Bro went to Taiwan and didn't eat anything bad. Uh, you're one of them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you're one of them in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and miss a birthday party, dude? Yeah. Hey, if you want a donut, maybe after. Yeah. Do a three hour workout. the hotel in Orange, New Jersey, I think. And we're here for the weekend, just working out, getting right, and preparing for the first week of a long month of workouts, hopefully knock on wood. I think it's easy to get caught up in, like the past couple weeks have been super stressful and wow. just. Yeah, I was up with that I, I hope George takes us.
only like five minutes. I'm trying to get like him. You gotta find you one that can really do that though. Mm. But it's a dying breed though. <laughs> they going away fast. <laughs> he was a player coach though too though. People Ooh. forget, but Russell was a player coach for two of them rings. Let's talk about it. His impact was the best. <laughs> Rondo would be. If Rondo was a coach, I think they'll do, do great things. I want. I don't think Rondo has a I want uh, Hey man, you got Ooh. a podcast? Like LeBron, JJ? It's so good. Yeah, good. They really talk about like real shit of ball. First couple episodes, like LeBron was doing this kind of like a. Everything else, guys? We got everything that came in from home? Yeah, I just. Oh, for real? Yeah, my dad played at Auburn. Which is actually oh, yeah, Adam played. Yeah, yeah, I think I knew that. Yeah. Wait, what are you? My dad did. You play where? Auburn. Auburn. My yeah. grandpa played at Dayton. I got called from Dayton to go to the war. Never went back and finished. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go through the war. <laughs> oh no, Cause yo, my dad is my dad was old when he had me. And my dad's dad was old when he had him. So like two generations ago, World War II. That's so crazy. serious. Got called out of that. He was like, yeah, nah, you better, you better get your nah, happy like ass. After his second year, they was like, yo, like he got drafted. I wanna test it. Why? You don't like it? I'm not an electric car, bro. Right, so what car should I get? Old fashioned. You, 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 you I go live. It's smooth. I love right, what car should I get? Matt told me he has something against the ozone. It's his car. Wait, you don't, you don't like Teslas? No. I'm not. I, I, I think they're cool. I think it's cool. I gotta hear an engine, bro. I need to hear something. I'm not trying to. Like, I need it to be reactive. I need a car I can yeah. keep when I'm going, like, when I'm in, when I'm in the league. So, like, mm. make it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nah, nah, I'm not trying to ball out. I'm not trying to ball all I the way out, but I'm trying to ball out to the point that it's like, cool. So like, learn from the best, right? <laughs> Shout out Angel Reese. <laughs> no cap. All right, gents. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Toby, I'll see you tomorrow, bro. I hope to see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, gents. Hey, travel safe, bro. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Good. Good to meet you, guys. Nice that was you. fun. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow. Yeah, All right, Matt. Appreciate right, you. Yeah, yeah, Thanks for coming, Matt. Yeah. Good meeting Same you. Pleasure, yes, sir. Humble. One day we'll be in the Tesla. That's your dream car, Zayden, that Tesla? Yeah, they're not, not a dream car, but like, that's, I'm rocking with that one, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have it yet. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your favorite song? Uh, the Tokyo Drift. Oh, that was tough, right? How long did it take you to write that? Uh, it was really just off the top, bro. Mm. It was really just off the top. Yes, sir. You want a picture with me? Yeah. I'll, right. I'll take it, I'll take it. You want on your phone? No. How are you gonna get the phone? How are you gonna get the picture? Get the tire shoes first though. Can you get started? Oh, was he? Well let me play a soundtrack for you. Back, you're being shy, you're being shy, you're being shy. Okay, 30, 30. You like that, you like that, son. Tough. Wait, what's your name? Carl. Quick, call, hit him with a scream. Mm. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right? Everybody plays slow shit. They play you know what, been, We don't always have to But we be playing like fast. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I know you what you mean. You guys play well too. Like, you guys make yeah, games yeah. and stuff. Like, we run good shit. Yeah. All right, let's Bro, and we play at the Royal Prize, and they had two.
have a line of gun tires on. Time to lie. What time do you track on tomorrow? What time is the workout? 10.30, I think. 10.30 a.m.? Yeah. What time are you about to wake up? What time is it right now? Late game? Mm. George, yeah. is there... Y'all on the 4-4-2? Nah, my, my man Max, yeah. He's the who? Yeah, we got to He's the who when he was little. Switch. Yeah. Exposing Soundfly rappers. Oh, yeah, I was watching. He got the shot. Yeah, he was actually making all the shots. I was like, damn. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all, boys. I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. Alright. You have a, a late night routine, too? Yeah, my. Uh, no, I should probably stretch though. Shower, stretch. The stretch are saying, is it just for the doc? Or are you really be stretching? <laughs> <laughs> I try, but I need to. <laughs> yeah, you come Appreciate that. Yeah, little bro, mm. hold it. That's what he's really wanting to tell me. <laughs> Yo, if you want one of those, you can have it. I'm not gonna eat all of it this weekend. Wait, what is it? Pasta? Uh, what do you call it? Chicken pasta. Dang, Xavier's for the people. Yeah, bro. W man's. No, I'm here too. You guys should have one. I think the one on top chicken parma, two blows like eight Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna right. have to take that. Appreciate, Appreciate that. that. I'm gonna get for you. I'll get that right now. If you want. Appreciate that, game. Gotcha, bro. Let's see if they got a fridge. Oh, big, right? Do that. Hey. And a microwave. Yes, sir. Let's do the back of Big week coming up. Nah, I'm scared. What y'all got going this week? It's workout season. I just got my Wednesday, schedule. right? Yeah, first on Wednesday. You got to go to Memphis? Yeah. That's tough. I think, uh... I'll fly on Tuesday. Um, son, you, you're about to be on that May 1, 4, 7, 9th and 25th. Your whole May, you just working out. That part. Why do you do the sign like that? You always did that? What? I know so. Why are you zooming on my feet? Man? No, I'm saying you always flip it upside down. Oh, this? Yeah. As opposed to keeping up? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know. That's the swag? Yeah, it's right length. Ah, uh, You're lucky you caught me. I usually wear the wrong socks. Oh, these are the wrong socks. That's why. You're different. We're going to make it one day, though. Yeah, I know. But sorry, this weekend was good. Get like a good uh, getaway. Focus. What you gonna do on stream tonight? I hate being behind. You inspire me to be up kempt on all my tasks. <laughs> be disciplined. No glaze, no glaze. I notice all you guys at Princeton, from your roommates to your teammates, you guys are good at time management, I must say. Facts, facts, facts. Like you guys are elite at time management. You guys, even if it's good vibes, you're, you guys know how to step away and do what you gotta do. Yeah. That's a good point. Like, I feel like that's how you guys get a lot done. Sure. I mean, you guys do it too. You you start editing the same day you record the clips. Nah, it's not editing. It's just like sorting though. Grouping it, yeah, sorting. From what I recall, when I edit, that's like half the battle though. Mm, a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Half the battle would be that, and then cutting out the um, stuff we're not gonna use. Yeah. Are we watching? This is crazy. Sorry.
start stretching for a bit too. No cap. <laughs> you really gotta get on that yoga. That'll get you right. That meditation. Yeah, meditation can be great too. I've tried it, actually it does kinda help, but it does, right? You yeah. actually feel a difference. Yeah. Like your mind feels calmer after, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially when you think about a lot. But it is, it's hard to like get to every day. Yeah, facts. Like, cause sometimes if you're, uh, if you wake up late, you're just in a rush, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then it's hard to find time. That's really why you just gotta like set a routine. You got us in a crazy sleeping schedule. We're about to be waking up early in California. It's not bad though. Yeah, that's a good thing. I'm alive. Cause we're a little bit used to it cause you're waking up at like 7.30 a.m. workout all the yeah, well. day How long, how long they be working? This, this time at the pre-draft right now is the first time I ever had like a trainer and like separate rebounders. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never had like someone re- like just rebounding and like someone else who's like leading it. I'm I'm still waiting on the lot on the defense though. You know, yeah, you got so like yeah. the trainer, the defense, and a man rebounding yes, too. He, yeah, he got two. To, he has uh, the help, the defender, the trainer. Even sometimes playing defense. Or no, no, trainer's just training. Then Jace rebounding. But here, like we work out, you see, like two and a half hours. Yeah, y'all be working out. When it was just time. me and Will last weekend, though, it was like it was like two. I don't know. I think so. We're doing another like fake workout. I think. I don't know if we're gonna lift after. That might be a lot. So what? I don't know if we're gonna lift after. Oh. That might be a lot. Maybe not. You have two workouts today. Yeah. Oh, you have a morning break. And yeah. Workout again. I think that's just like shooting though. But yeah. Oh, and not just shooting. Yeah. Like I saw you training Hamadou. Yeah. Yeah, I shot with him. Yes, sir. He's so athletic. But you I don't play to... once? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I would have wanted to, but I've never played an NBA player. But we just shot on the gun. Oh, y'all gotta watch that film. Yeah. Dang, they chopped it up that fast. It's all sorted, the film? Or is it just everybody? Oh, uh, it's everyone. That's like good reads, bad reads.
just the job there, man. The quality's not the best, though. You see it? Yeah. It's crazy how different people look on like film in this setting versus like and when we watch film as a team together everyone kind of no one looks that great usually To uh, improvements for the day, I said stretch better before and shoot the ball straight under. Good rest last night? Yeah, straight to bed. No girlfriend? Nah, no girlfriend. Not right now. Yes, sir. You got girlfriend? No, sir. No, sir. Not right now. What do they call me? Job of the hook? They call him what? <laughs> Java the hell? Why? It looks like Java the hell. Blueberry muffin milk. No, they, re they really don't know. That's hilarious, bro. Oh, yeah, it's too flat. Day two at the You know, Zane, we can order on one. Save yourself some money. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate that. Yeah. W Nick? W Nick. Mm -hmm. Save some for the Uber ride home. <laughs> Let me see. Wait, I got last month. Did you get this? The bacon egg? Yeah, yes, man. Hopefully, it's not Nate's. He's gonna get angry. <laughs> He loves bacon. Why was they being painted? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> you got water, Nate? Oh, you you can, yeah, you can pass that. Yeah, Nate, pass him that. Shut up, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that, Nate. Stop playing Nick low, bro, you gang. <laughs> He said, I know. <laughs> Nick's gonna learn. learn. Keep that one in the dock. Keep that one in the dock. Yeah, keep that one. His time is coming. Ooh. Oh, what does that mean? Why are you talking like that? What are you talking about my time every, is Every time Nick get mad, he's put the camera on you and keep it there. <laughs> Exposing Nick in the cup. Oh, yeah. The... How, do you, how do you eliminate the distractions? Hanging with, like, girls. You're a young college dude. Uh, going to parties. I mean, going we, like hanging with the with the guys too much. How do you still stay focused? The biggest thing is like who you surround yourself with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're with people, I think I'm grateful because like all my friends at school and the guys I'm training with here, even though I just met them, like we all have similar goals, like in life too, not just basketball. So when you're with people like that, it makes it easier. If you're with people who like pull you in different directions and then it becomes harder. But if it's not there to begin with, it's good. And obviously like, like I have fun too, you know what I mean? Like I'm not basketball, basketball, school, school. Like crazy thing is with the doc, this is a crazy thing that I learned. Like people who watch the doc or the first episode, like at my school is like, their, their reaction was like, oh my gosh, all he cares about is basketball. Like he just plays basketball. Like there was literally a comedy show at school and it was like an improv thing, and they put me on it, and they were just trolling me, talking about like, I love basketball, I love basketball. I was like, damn. No, they didn't do that. They did it, bro. It was funny. Wow. Um, it was funny, but you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of how people at school 
or some not all people obviously, but a lot of people at school are like, oh my, like he just loves his basketball shit. That's all I do. You know what I mean? But then the other people, like some other people who watched it, like maybe more like hoopers are like, dang, like he's really locked in on school. Like he's a like, you know what I mean? He's super academic. He's a nerd. Nah, no, he's a nerd, but you know what I mean? It's like based on where you come from, like you might perceive me in different ways or perception. Whatever. Yeah, is reality. Yeah. My exactly. It is a true thing, and it's like, but at the same time, you just gotta do what you gotta do, and however people perceive it is up to them, and you guys try and do what you want. I love, bro, I love this one. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. This is where you guys see, he, he should never, ever let Brooks go under like that, so you should have a wide open shot. Yeah. But now think of even that, like, you just accept the under. Where if you had even go back a little bit, Matt, yeah. even this is something I'm teaching you guys we're going to work on today, even if you just stop and play the game behind him, then make Brooks make a lunge one way or the other. And it'll actually end up turning into a really cool pick and roll for you, or you're going to shoot a catch and shoot three. And we end up taking, like, at the end, not that you can't make that, but those are tough twos at the NBA level. Like, coaches don't love that. I, I, yeah, I just had one more here, too. Yeah. I, liked it. I liked it in the moment, too. It was just simple. So we all know what you're doing on the screen right there, right here. Job, Brooks. That's it right there. Yeah, okay. Um, go, go back to the first one. First clip of that thing. Just one, I forgot to sell it. Oh, I just said play. Okay. Yeah. I don't hear anything. your just ability to get it. Yeah, you know, make them vote. Tier two. What are these? Tier you guys say tier one. We didn't talk about not no. talking about tier one. It's the finishes. Oh, it's low and high. Uh, yeah, like tier one is like right over the room. Yeah, tier yeah, two, yeah. tier three is above the square. Yeah. Right. I need a, when I'm doing that. I need like I get hit first. I need to hit him first before I go. Exactly. Because he hit me, and that's why we're like this. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. That's kind of cheating. And it was, what's great, especially in like long, I don't know how a lead shot block is, but you, you take the back out of it and you're able to make it first when they can't wind up and go get it. Because you know? yeah. you're going to find it, you're still going to feeling going into your first NBA workout in a couple days? I feel good. I mean, kind of the, the thought I have, like, I'm, I'm really young doing this, and hopefully I can go this year. Obviously, that'd be amazing, but like, I still have the opportunity to do it next year, the year after, knock on wood, hopefully. So I feel like I'm just pl I'm playing with house money. Like, I'm going in there trying to kill, knowing that, you know, everyone else might, might be older or whatever, but I'm just there to, like, to hoop. So I think that's going to help me out. Because I got nothing to lose, and I think if you don't have anything to lose, it makes you a bit more scary. So I'm just going to be honest. I'm gonna go in there and try my best and just have fun. Like I trust, I trust my skills. Um, I just gotta be physical because they gonna be playing hard, bro. Like basketball now is like it's people's livelihoods now. You know what I mean? It's not just a game anymore. Mm, what made you realize that? Because all these people, grown ass men, it's not it's not kids anymore. So even even working even working I think this weekend was so good. I think this weekend was so good because like everyone else who I was working out with this weekend that you know we've been hanging out with, playing with, is in the same position as me and I'm the youngest out of all of them. So it got my confidence up to be playing with guys like that 
and like showing I could compete with them. And I think it was good for me just to see that and be in that setting too, because that's what I think that's what it's gonna feel like in the workouts. And they're all super athletic. You saw that. Super athletic, super strong, super physical. So I thought it was good. I'm not gonna lie though, Ivy League is underratedly physical. Cause they might be less athletic in the Ivy League, but people like they try to isolate you more and use their body even more than because some of these really athletic strong guys, like if you hit them a couple times, like they'll give in a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're not trying to really expose you as much. But sometimes in the Ivy League, like they're gonna find you on switch, roll down and just go at you, bro. So I think that kind of helped prepare me too. So when, um were you surprised how you performed, you say, at the the uh, the trainings? Y'all are playing three on threes. No, nah, I, I had fun. It was so much fun to be honest. It's hard because at the workouts it's mostly like three on three. Um, I don't know how much you guys can show that, obviously, but it's different than like a, a full team setting. You're kind of more isolated, like in the pick and rolls, and even in help, like there's less people on the court. There's more space, so on offense I felt like I was having a great time, but on defense, getting over those ball screens was no joke. So I think it was great preparation because. Most people don't have like full, I mean, a lot of people have a big group, but not like a good group like that, where it's, we went at it for like two hours and we did that three times. Gonna be three. <laughs> but uh yeah it seems like you guys like to eat like just good eats yeah of course we had a ramen these, shop we these had are, a ramen these shop like, me personally i would never like try stuff like this yeah that's fair I'm not, I'm not gonna lie my family likes to eat like that like when i'm at school i eat the same like yeah. two or three places every time but my mom's always going to like random places I got, I picked up yesterday. So I figured you how to get at the mailing center? Well, I didn't know, I didn't know it was going to be that, but... What side am I supposed to use? <laughs> <laughs> the side that doesn't look like this. Why do you guys need a fork or anything? Do you guys mm. I struggle with the chopsticks. It's a big egg right there. <laughs> yeah. Big bowl. I'm like the yolk. What kind of question is that? I'm saying I don't, I don't. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Well, it's good protein. Thank you. So this 
is yours. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out. What is it? This is um, barbecue, brisket, broccolini, and um, potato wedges. I'll heat it up here. Yes, yes. You should drink up. You should drink some, um, some like, cold pressed juices. Oh, no. Bananas. Why don't you have sweet bananas? Pardon? Just five bananas. Okay, I'll take a banana. I'll take one to go. I don't need to do any bananas. Nick, do you eat bananas? Uh, I'll just put them in like smoothies. Oh, so then give me two. Yeah. Cut them up. I'll take two. Yeah, cut them up. <laughs> I'll take two. You take three. I just need them. Just have three with you, okay? Huh? Is this you right here? Not really. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, let me see the picture. <laughs> that doesn't look like him? It does, actually. You don't know his song? Rich Brian. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> having a chance to be in the NBA now. Even like in pre draft training. I mean, I think, I think if you're in the pre draft process, you have to believe in it. Right? I'm saying, uh, when he first came into Princeton, do you think it comes so soon? Do you think he's going to be four years? Yeah, I mean, I. I can't say that I thought it would come like now, um, but I didn't really form any specific views. I actually didn't know a whole lot about the pre-draft process until um, fairly recently. And so um, we didn't know anyone personally who had been through that process, so it wasn't as though it was something that was on the radar. Uh, but when, again, like when the opportunity presented itself, you know, we took it as a blessing and you know, want to commit to it ten toes down and, and try to make the best of it. Let's see it though. Mm. I guess you can get drafted from anywhere, right? Football is one. Right. It's like college. Right. All right, I'll try and go to room. Okay, bye. Bye, my love. Have a great rest of the day. Great yeah. weekend. And then maybe we'll, we'll let me know what time you're going to be back to Take off your shoes, gang. Another meal. Yes, sir. Three X. Let me see. to the game. Wow. What does that mean to you? Chalk up to the game. You know, a good friend taught me this one. He said sometimes you do what you can. Sometimes you work hard, whatever. And sometimes, like, life is just going to have something else in store for you. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Whether it puts you in a different direction or not. I mean, really, the quote applies to everything. But, like, you can control what you can control. But at the end of the day, like, Life is going to take you in different places, God is going to take you in different places, and you just got to make the best of your circumstances. That's what I'm trying to do at least.